Welcome back on this Friday morning. Clear skies out there as high pressure south of us and it's allowed temperatures to fall. It is five below in, Mar in Marquette, but it actually feels a little bit colder than that. We do have a wind out of the southwest. It's a light though, about five miles per hour. Our temperatures across the area into the 20s below zero along the Wisconsin state line, 19 below at Escanaba, and then temperatures throughout the morning will struggle. We'll reach eventually the single numbers by about midday with teens this afternoon. But the bulk of the morning, those are the numbers at the bottom, will likely be in the teens below zero. So very, very chilly conditions this morning. If you have plans to maybe take your exercise routine out in the woods this morning, add on an extra layer. As we head into the afternoon, temperatures for the most part will trend in the mid-teens. Near the shorelines is where it might be the mildest, pushing right around 17 to about 18, 19 degrees for daytime high temperatures. And then we actually stay mild throughout the overnight as compared to what we're experiencing right now, that is, because overnight low temperatures don't drop off that much. So by Saturday morning, we're still kind of in the teens to kick off the morning, and then we slowly see temperatures fall into the afternoon. Now that happens because a front will bring in some colder air and will also bring in some snow. So by Sunday morning, we're again in the teens below zero to kick off the day. It's a little up and down here with temperatures. Right now, clear skies, and we're seeing a wind flow out of the south, southwest. This is where the next front is located at. Little Clipper system up in Saskatchewan will continue to track east across Canada, and we'll see a cold front move through as we head into tonight through tomorrow. So it will bring in some snow. If you're participating in the Nokemanon Ski Marathon, we'll start off 8 to 10 o'clock in the morning with some of those light to moderate snow showers and wind chill readings easily in the single numbers below zero a little bit breezy early on midday still seeing upper teens at that point some light snow showers and then as we end the races we'll still see a few light lake effect snow showers for about the afternoon and evening snowfall amounts at the next round that would be for tonight through tomorrow night would trend easily one to three inches putting three to six inches in the far east and the upper elevations of the west and northwest because lake effect does develop into the afternoon but generally some light amounts with this snow here's the hour by hour clear skies today southwest wind flow that's the afternoon this is midnight as the snow starts to work in from west to east this is tomorrow morning as the system snow will be exiting off to the east with the lake effect snow developing along the northwest wind belts tomorrow afternoon. And then here we go for Sunday morning where we will still have a little bit of light snow near Lake Superior. Plan on some cloudy conditions though throughout the weekend and then another front will rather another system will bring in some widespread snow on Monday.